Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are talking about the best of the best, the creme de la creme, the top of the top, top shelf of highlighters. I have three that basically are my entire world that I just wanna cuddle, hold closely, travel with, um, never part with. I'm just really passionate about them and I'm kind of cleaning out my makeup collection, which is kind of funny because I know I did makeup graveyard like seven months ago, eight months ago, and I could actually do a full, like a second makeup graveyard just because I review so, so much here on my channel and um, I'm getting better at narrowing it down and figuring out like, okay, what can I not live without? And there are certain products that I will continue to repurchase over and over and over. So I thought we would just zero in and I would share with you my, these will change your life highlighters. I don't even know what my life was like before this item and I had it sitting around forever. That is the part that kind of breaks my heart because this has become my number one absolute holy grail best of the best highlighter and it's a liquid which forever I was just like no liquids I don't want a liquid I want a powder only I don't want something to bunch up on my skin after I've powdered my face and you know I always felt like powder was the way to go but this particular product is so reflective dewy melts into the skin just meshes with the skin perfectly that you can't even detect it it actually just gives you like that dose of hydration and just like just, it's not even a glow. It's unicorn tears in here. What, that's what this is. I actually did my mom's makeup yesterday and I used this on her and she's my mom. She's older than me. She has more mature skin and a lot of people feel like, well, you can't use a highlighter on more mature skin. This even works on skin that is not quite as smooth as a 20 year old's. It's not gonna accentuate lines. It's not gonna accentuate any dryness. It just gives the skin this beautiful radiance and just, it's just so good. So I like to apply this with a dampened beauty blender and I actually haven't applied it yet today. So I wanted to show you one side versus the other and how I like to use this product. So you only need like not even a full pump of the product. A little goes a long way. I have my dampened beauty blender and I just have it on the back of my hand here. And I'm just gonna pick it up on the tip of that beauty blender. You could use a brush, but I just think the sponge distributes the product so, so perfectly. That's my favorite way to go with it. By the way, I have all of the pressed powders from Becca as well, um, and a few other colors of the Shimmering Skin Perfector. I got like a little holiday kit with these guys here. And if I'm going to zero it in and tell you which is my absolute favorite, it's Moonstone and the Liquid, hands down. So I have it on the tip of this beauty blender right here, and I am just going to look in the mirror and find the top of my cheekbone where I really want to add a lot of highlight. And I'm just gonna start tapping. And you can already see right here, that reflection is really nice. And I'm tapping up and down. I don't want it to just be a stripe here, so I'm tapping. I'm gonna take it up almost on the temple area a little bit. And it just gives this beautiful dewiness to the skin without it being like disco ball. So you can see I have a lot of nice reflection there and this side is looking a lot different. So let me even that out. And the cool thing is I applied product all throughout here, but there's still enough on here, like a little goes a long way. And there's something about applying it with the dampened sponge that just spreads the product out perfectly. So I go down the bridge of the nose a little bit little on the forehead, and now I have my perfect glow. P.S. This also you can mix in with your foundation if you want to make a matte foundation a little more luminous. And I also like taking this in with my body moisturizer. So I'll just take one pump, I'll grab a pump of my moisturizer, go like this, put it on the arms, and all of a sudden you're just like, look at me, I am so shimmery and perfect. If I wanna take things even up a notch from here, you know, like I'm a beach goddess, go in on top of this with a little Make It Forever Shine On Powder. Now, this is a product that you will only have to purchase once in your entire lifetime. I kid you not, you cannot get through this. I, it would be like a miracle if you could get through this by the time you are 90 because 
you only need to grab like what's on the lid dusted from it being like shaken around in the jar and that's it. So you can grab a domed brush like this. This one's just a Sigma F35 or you could grab a fan brush and I'm literally picking up just a teeny tiny little bit. I'm gonna knock off some of that excess and I can go in right here and just further amp up that glow. I've said this before in a video, but the reason I bought this was because I was watching Priscilla Ono do a tutorial and she said this is the powder that she uses on Iggy and Iggy always has like the best glow, like she just looks perfect. Um, and this is also an excellent one to put on the inner corner of the eyes just to kind of brighten things up too. So very multi-purpose. Um, I love this for an extra shiny boost of highlight on top of the liquid. So number one, number two. Number three, on the hit list of life. They started carrying this again at Sephora, so I want to give you like a big huge heads up. They have the Trio palette once more from Hourglass. This is a set of the ambient powders, which you can use over the entire face if you are adventurous. It's so finely milled that it's not going to make you look like a glittery disco ball by any means. Um, this trio has three of the ambient powders in here, Dim Light, incandescent light and radiant light. And I actually like mixing them all together. I will only use this really under the eye to set um, concealer or on the high points of my face. I won't put this everywhere, but again, you could if you wanted to. There's nothing metallic or chunky, like it's just smooth. It just looks like a, like a baby's bottom. That's probably a bad way to put it, but it's just, it's so smooth which with a highlighter is not what you want. You don't want chunky, you want smooth. Um, so that is one of the best high-end, beautiful highlight powders in the entire universe. I have had this for a year and a half and I haven't hit pan. And I keep this in my top drawer, I use it a lot. It's not like I don't use it. So a little bit does go a long way and I personally feel with highlighters, yes, there are some good at the drugstore, Physicians Formula, um, if you are in the UK, Glow um, by the brand 17 is really great. Any of the shimmer bricks I would recommend. But aside from that, it's really tough to get something that's so finely milled that will reflect light and look so super beautiful at a discount price. So I feel like highlighters are maybe something that you want to reach a little more top shelf, save up for, splurge on, um, and that's just my personal opinion. There you have it. This is a holy grail. Highlighters must have highlighters that will change everything. Okay. Maybe not everything, but it will make your skin look nice. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and thank you so much for hanging out with me. I will see you guys next time. Mwah.